So, bro, today I decided to get a little break from everything. And, um, you know, today was not really a good day for work anyways. Because I packed my clothes and, um, you know, stuff for for the trip. Cleaned my car. Changed oil. You know, prepared for the trip. But it was a pretty decent day anyway. Even though I did not work, I still read, uh, exercised, you know, did some good stuff. You know, the trip will be fun, definitely, because I like driving and driving there is like from Florida to Minnesota is like across the whole country. That will be fun. I also may visit some cool cities like Chicago, maybe, although my parents don't want to visit Chicago because last time we've been to Chicago, you know, the roads are trash there, like seriously, why do they have such bad roads in Chicago? It's a giant city, why can't they just repair their roads? That is weird. That's the main reason why my parents don't want to visit Chicago. But we may still end up there. Who knows? Also, we'll be there for about a week. And I really have nothing to do there for the most time. Because there is really... Like we'll be we'll be then we'll be there Saturday and Sunday. And as you can as you know, Saturday and Sunday are weekends and nothing works. Nothing really nothing really is open. So I'll have a lot of time to record videos. So I might record something there. Well, besides that, I don't really know what to say about this day. It was just a preparation day for the trip. I really nothing to say. I'll probably have even less to say about tomorrow because tomorrow I'll be driving the whole day. Which sounds kind of fun. But considering that it will happen on highway where you just you know, sit and uh, look at the road and hold the steering wheel, don't even turn it because it's just a straight road. That may not be that fun, but anyway. It's always fun to do something for the first time and it will be the first time I'll drive across the whole country. I remember that I have this I had this idea to drive I mean to ride my bike to Miami and back. I live in the northwest part of Florida and I'll have to drive through the whole Florida to get to Miami. It's like 500 miles or something like this and on a bike that will be like very challenging. At least for me because I never did this before. So that would be an interesting thing to try. Couple problems are that I don't have a bike. I don't have a lot of free money for this. Which, I mean, it requires a lot of money, definitely. And I kind of don't have a lot of time. Because I need to work on my business. Which is this YouTube channel. Or find another job now. Which, of course, I prefer to stick with my YouTube channel. I really start to hate the idea of going to a normal work. Normal job, like 9 to 5 or something. Or even worse than 9, 9 to 5. That's just... Just not for me. I want to do something else. 
I mean, yeah, many people say that it's not for them and they still end up working there or end up without money at all on the streets. And um, yeah, that's also bad. I'm just saying that I'll definitely try to not end up at work at a standard job again. I'll just try to do something with this YouTube channel. The reason why I'm talking about this so often is because I'm thinking about this so often. I think about it every day. What if this won't work? What if I'll have to find another job? What if I'll, you know, live for next five years without any success with this YouTube channel? And without progressing in any career? It means I'll just waste five years? You know, probably not, because I'll still develop some skills related to recording YouTube videos, which will be useful. They definitely will be useful. Like, these skills are speaking and uh, writing and creativity skills because you have to be kind of creative to record these YouTube videos. So I will definitely have some skills at the end. Even if nothing will work, even if I will still have these 400 subscribers, and I'm sure I won't because I'm getting one or two subscribers per day right now. <clears throat> Which means that in two years, <laughs> yes, in two years I'll definitely get to 1,000 subscribers. If I record every day, obviously. So yeah, not really to say about today besides this. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I have things to say about today. I finally got a catchphrase. You know, like many people have this catchphrase that is associated with them. People hear the catchphrase and, um, you know, think about this person who uses it. I said before that I want a catchphrase about complacency. And actually, there is a phrase about complacency, like a, maybe it's a, even a quote from someone, but I, I'm not sure. I mean, probably it's just a phrase. I don't know who said that, who created that. And I have no idea where I heard it, but I remember that. I just know that I did not create it. But anyway, I will steal somebody else's phrase. That's not a big problem. Everybody does it. So, this phrase is... Complacency is the killer of men. Because that is true. Complacency... Like, is the killer of men. Definitely. Because... If you don't progress... With your life, in your life, in any... Area of your life... You will lose progress. So that kind of, um, that can kill you. If you turn 30 and, um, you know, have a wife and kids and a stable job, comfortable job, you'll get complacent. Probably, most likely, you'll get complacent. If you don't have challenges in life, you'll get complacent. And then you will develop, um, you know, beer belly, You'll be sleep deprived because of your job. You'll lose interest in life. And that is what kills a lot of people. So that is kind of literally the killer of men. But even not literally. In, a, in some metaphorical sense, it also kills you. Because a good life is a life when you are always going forward. But if you are complacent, you are not going forward. So, metaphorically, you die.
sounds kind of stupid, but you get the idea. I mean, this is a good phrase. I like it. It kind of explains what complacency does to people. Yeah, obviously. So I like this phrase. I will use it at the end of every video now instead of see it tomorrow because, I mean, obviously you'll see me tomorrow. I record videos every day and you know this already. <clears throat> or maybe, you know, not instead, but after. So I'll do something like, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I see you tomorrow. And, rem and remember, complacency is the killer of men.